much for taking the time to tune into this video and if you are new to my channel welcome 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 so today is october 1st so happy october to everybody and i'm actually behind on videos because there are a few videos that i filmed last week and i have to still edit them so i'm not exactly sure which video is going to go up first um, hopefully I can get the videos up in order as I film them, but we'll see. But basically, if I upload the other videos first, you'll notice that I do have a little bit of a change. Um, we did get a new kitchen table today, so actually we got it Sunday, but I haven't been home. So I, when I got home today, I noticed that we got a new kitchen table. So it's, yeah, it's different from my other video because I filmed that video last week for you guys. So as you can tell by the title, I have a fall melting basket. Now I stopped filming monthly melting baskets because I accumulated like a love-hate relationship with them. What I mean by that is I hated the fact that it just got to the point where I just became restrained I guess by my selects or by my picks that I selected for the month like I selected a few scents from my collection for the month and I just felt trapped and I almost like I feel like it was contributing to my burnout because I was forced it was almost like I was forced to melt what I picked when there were days when I wanted to pick something else from my stash. So I figured you know what I felt like the monthly melting baskets were just way too limiting and restricting for me now i know the point of them is to obviously get you to melt what you own instead of just you know buying and buying and buying and melting the new stuff obviously it's important to melt the, the older stuff in your collection um so i figured i might as well do these seasonally but pulling out all of my fall scents this isn't even all of my fall stuff that's the <laughs> that's like the shameful part well not shameful but fall is my favorite season out of the year, so I tend to go ham when it comes to melting and burning fall candles and fall scents around my home. So I want to say like fall scents make up the majority of my entire candle and like wax vendor collection. Um, so I do have a lot of fall stuff here. So I figured I might as well do a seasonal melting basket because that way I could just pull from this particular melting basket when I'm obviously in the mood for something fall. If I want to melt something fall that day, this is what I'm pulling from. But if I want to melt something, let's say that's just a general bakery scent or like a lavender blend, then I will just go to my, you know, my normal stash. This was just me basically organizing and just pulling out all of my fall scents just so I know like what fall scents I have on hand. And it's, <laughs> it's actually funny because I have a couple more fall orders coming in. Uh, that I just recently placed this week, but as of today, I am placing myself on a fall wax band, so um, I'm no longer buying fall scents. I'm gonna start buying like winter Christmas ones as they start to come out. So let's go ahead and get started because this video is gonna be pretty long. I'm not gonna go into the scents individually, like smelling each one, uh, because we will actually be here forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started with the clamshells. So have quite a few clams here. I'm gonna start with super tarts. A lot of this stuff I actually just recently got. So this first one here is in Mr. Myers, which is Fresh Fallen Leaves, Fireside, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This next one is in Blair Witch, which is Fall Leaves, Lemon, Marshmallow Cream, and a Hint of Salted Caramel. This next one is in Cabin in the Woods, which is crisp apples, leaves with a touch of pumpkin and lemon. I actually ordered this in a BAM bag when she did her uh, BAM bag pre-order. This next one is in Halloween Town, and the notes are gooey caramel apples, cinnamon sticks, and Rice Krispie treats. And this next one is in Saw, which is sweet cranberry preserves, uh, buttery pie crust, and smooth vanilla cream. This one is in Alien, which is apple cider and vanilla bean donuts. This next one is in Misery, which is pie crust and leaves. 
And then this one I actually just got today. This is part of her Melting Dead clamshell pre-order. This one is in Grimes, and this is coffee, applesauce, and donuts. So I'm going to move these to the far back. I know you can't really see them in frame, but trust me, we are going to need the room. <laughs> So those are some of my super tarts and I have three more. These are older ones. Um, I don't exactly know if these are fall specific, but I just have to throw them in here because they're just super old and I need to get through them. This one is in Family Matters. And this one, as you can see, I only have two um, cubes left, but the clamshell has gone soft. I think this I got this in like 2016, if I'm not mistaken. And then this next one is in Corpsman. I have four cubes left in here. And then last but not least, I have Adam's Family. And this is a full clam, but again, this this is old. I I got those in I had it had to have been 2016. So those are all of my super tarts clams that are fall scented. Now keep in mind, I have a few scents in my collection that are fall slash Halloween named. But the scent notes themselves, like the scent itself, isn't necessarily fall. So I was very picky with pulling for this melting basket because I wanted specific fall scents. So even if the name of the scent was fall or Halloween oriented or Thanksgiving oriented, I didn't put it in this basket if it wasn't fall scented, you know what I mean? So I was that's like my way of really, really narrowing it down. So let's get into Yankee Candle. I do have a few Yankee Candle um, clams. So this one is in Creamy Pumpkin Cupcake. I'm actually melting one cube in my bedroom right now, and it smells really nice. It's very, very different from Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Cupcake. Then I have Berry Apple. I have Shades of Fall. And then the last Yankee Candle one is in Luscious Pumpkin Trifle. So these here are all Yankee Candle. So I have a few Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals, basically Walmart wax. So I actually have like quite a few old ones, like old, old ones. So I'll get started with this one right here. This is a dual one. This is from Better Homes and Gardens. Obviously, this is in Corner Donut Shop, which is glazed pumpkin donut and cider. I have three cubes of each left, so I definitely want to get through that because that one, like I said, is old. And then speaking of old, I have this guy right here. This guy is in Pumpkin Ginger Cookie, and this is from 2014. <laughs> um, I have been hoarding this clamshell because I really, really like the scent of this one. It is super good. I guess I like the combination of pumpkin and ginger, but this one is vanilla, bakery, sugary out, or sugared out enough, excuse me. So I actually do like it. It's not really strong on the ginger. And then I think this is all I have that's old uh, Better Homes and Gardens Walmart wax. Uh, but I have these two clams right here in Cranberry Cookie Crumble. Um, I love this one. I have three cubes left of this and then a full clam. This is old. Like I said, this is from 2014. I just really, really love this scent. Cranberry scents to me are Thanksgiving or I should say November specific scents. In October, I primarily just melt like pumpkin and apple blends. And then I melt sweet potato and pie, pumpkin pie scents, like cranberry scents. Those I melt in Thanksgiving. So, but as you guys know, fall is um, for the months of October and November. So this is what I have from there. And then my last Better Homes and Gardens Old Wax is this one right here in Warm Autumn Sweater. This is from 2014. This one is super, super good. This may, this basically smells like sweater weather. So those are like old clams. And let's get into the newer stuff that I just recently got. So I have this one, which is Fall Fetty. I have... I have lemon pumpkin shortbread. I actually melted um, one cube of this. I did a blend. I put it on my Insta story. Um, I melted one of this, one cube of this, one cube of blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy, and one cube of vanilla bean buttercream from Scentsy, and it was really good. 
really really good this one is midnight pumpkin patch i haven't gotten into this one yet but i really want to this one is actually a repurchase for me this is no place like home from sensationals which is sweet cinnamon and clove this is a repurchase because my mom actually really likes this scent so i actually melt that in my parents bedroom this is apple crisp tea i love this one this is an amazing amazing tea blend it's very relaxing it's very soothing with a fall twist that is very good this next one is apple pumpkin spice from sensationals and then the last walmart wax i have is also from sensationals in sugar pumpkin cronuts Okay, so I just actually moved the camera back a little bit because like I said, we are going to need the space. So next I have some stuff from Scentsy. So I actually don't showcase Scentsy on my channel like ever. And I don't exactly know why because I have been ordering a lot from Scentsy recently, especially with the new uh, fall and winter catalog. And I do have more Scentsy stuff coming in that's fall scents. Um, so this is just the fall scents that I have in my stash right now, but like I said, I, I do have like a couple more orders coming in. I don't know why I don't showcase my Scentsy stuff, um, like my Scentsy hauls. I probably should. Comment down below if you guys would like to see like my Scentsy hauls. I'm not a consultant myself, um, I do order from two different consultants, but if you guys are interested in like me reviewing my Scentsy hauls and stuff, definitely let me know down below. So this first one I have here is in Caramel Apple Craze. This was the scent of the month for September. So I have that one to use. I have this one in Grandma's Orchard. This one is in Scarlet Woods. This is Coconut Pumpkin Pie. This one is in first day of fall. I melted two cubes of this um, on the first day of fall and it was super, super good. That's a really good one. It's very strong too. This one is in maple apple bourbon. Cinnamon roasted pear. This one is actually part of the harvest collection. And this is candied cranberry pecan. I can't wait to go ahead and melt this one because that one smells super super good on cold this next one is in autumn hearth this next one i love this is in jack's obsession i absolutely love nightmare before christmas it's my all-time favorite disney movie and i actually just watched it today because it was on tv and i love it so much this scent though I will admit the scent is nothing spectacular, but it is in my Scentsy Club for the mere fact that it's obviously Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas, but the scent itself isn't like that great to me. It's just like a tart, sour, like green apple type of scent. This next one is in Huckleberry Apple Pie, also part of the Harvest Collection. I have this guy in Johnny Appleseed, which I was really surprised when they didn't bring this back for this year's uh, fall and winter catalog. And then the last Scentsy bar that I have is in Apple Cherry Cider. So again, just keep in mind, this these are just the fall scents that I have from Scentsy as of right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into, um, are the rest vendor wax? Oh no, I have some like retail hearts here um i have this yankee candle votive in pumpkin pie i like i tell you guys a lot in my videos um i don't melt these as votives i actually cut them up and i melt them as wax melts it's just a better value for your buck if you buy the votives because you get more ounces and it's the same price as these which are the tarts so i have pumpkin pie i also have moonbeams on pumpkins this is an old one that I've been holding on to, but this is in Slatkin & Co. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I got this at a yard sale like years ago, <laughs> but yeah, it's just really vintage. So that's why I haven't touched it. I have another Yankee Candle Tart in Sugared Pumpkin Swirl and in apple cider i should probably also note to you guys that this video doesn't include my chopped up candles or my melted down candles from you know yankee 
Um, I don't know why I didn't go through my stash of those, but th this is just specifically like Vendor Wax and Scentsy and Better Homes and Gardens, like Walmart Wax. It's just stuff that's like actually advertised as wax, if that makes any sense. So, um, let's go over my next vendor. This is from Midnight Daydream Wax Co. I love his wax. Harrison is the owner. So I do have a couple scent shots from this vendor. This first one is in Goosebumps, which is sweet pumpkin, ginger souffle, and maple glazed donuts. It's getting late, you guys. It's already 12.15, so if I start to slur, it's just because I'm tired. <laughs> This next one is in Ichabod Crane, and this is Kettle Corn, Mold Cider, and Brown Sugar Blondies. This one is in Beetlejuice, which is Cranberry Muffins, Caramel Drizzle, Crushed Walnuts, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Zucchini Bread. And this one is Pear Praline Granola, which is Honey Dipped Pears, A Hint of Pralines, and Chewy Granola Clusters. This one is in Halloween Town, which is Cider Lane type and candy corn. And this one is in October 31st, which is a spooky Halloween night. So those are my two ounce scent shots from Midnight Daydream. And then I have a few samples from him. This one is in Moonlit Moonlit Jack o' Lantern, which is Pumpkin Guts, Bonfire Smoke, and Haunted Hayride. Uh, this next one is in Casper's Cookie Jar, which is Freshly Baked Sweet Pumpkin Sugar Cookies Frosted with Fluffy Buttercream Frosting. And this next one is in Candy Corn Frosted Twinkies, which is Candy Corn Frosting and Twinkies. So that's all like my Midnight Daydream stuff. And, oh, hold on, I digress. I have a few Bath & Body Works tarts here, or wax melts. These are old. These are not the new wax melts. These are from 2014, 2015, 2016. <laughs> not sure of the exact year, but these are older. So I have this one in Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which you guys know what that is. And then I have these two here in Warm Apple Pie. They did bring this back in candle form this year, but I'm totally convinced that it's different from the OG version. So we'll see. I've been hanging on to that scent until they brought it back, and lo and behold, they did. I'm just going to leave this in the corner here. Okay. So hopefully that's all that I have that are like retail wax, I should say. Okay, so do 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 do. What should I get into next? Um, I guess I'll get into K's. So from K's scented melts, I did purchase like a fall sampler of hers. But aside from that, I do have a two ounce scent shot in white chocolate apple, which I have melted this before. It's really good. So I have that one from K's. And then these are all one ounce scent shots. So this one is in cranberry chutney. Again, it's a scent that I would be melting in um, the month of November. This one is in autumn flannel. This one is Mulled Cider and Chestnuts. Ooh, this one actually smells really, really good. Again, I would be melting this in November, but this is Sweet Potato Brown Sugar. That one's like super, super yummy. This one is in Strudel and Spice. I have this one in doo -doo -doo -doo, Pumpkin Cupcakes, if this will focus. There you go, Pumpkin Cupcakes. This next one is in Cider Donut. This one is in Fallen Leaves. And then this last front, this last one from K's is in Cozy Cabin. Okay, so I'll dive right into Front Porch Candle Co. because all of this stuff is old. Like, this stuff is from 2015. I don't even know if they're still sent to these. Honestly, I haven't even smelled them, but these are in scents that I absolutely adored and I just needed to hoard, but I hoarded them for too long. <laughs> so I really need to melt these. But I have two pumpkins left in the scent. Apple cider and cinnamon graham cracker. 
you can see 10 15 2015 so i need to definitely melt that and then this one was so good you guys this one is in pumpkin waffle house cookie noel it's so good it smells so good so i have those two and then i have a single um wax melt in pumpkin cream cheese cheesecake and then this one is from front porch obviously i know that but the label came off so i don't even know what scent this is in but i do know that it's a fall scent so i don't know if there's any scent to this like i said i haven't looked at these or smelled these it's very faint so if i don't get a throw from this i don't you know it's just a one and done type of thing it's really old i just need to get rid of it so that's what i'm going to do so next I have some things from VCS, Vintage Chic Scents. A lot of these I got from a D-stash from Kim, from Kim Hearts Organizing. Um, and then I did make my own purchase. So this first one here, I don't know what shape this is called, but it just looks like this. This is in the Spindle Curse, and this was poured in 2017, so this should be good to go. This is uh, in Cinnamon Glazed snickerdoodle donut marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel this was from um, the d-stash from kim and then i have a two pack of tiles this is in the witching hour which is pumpkin cream cheese cinnamon glazed baklava now this one i purchased as you can tell it was just poured in on august 7th of this year I've been hearing that VCS stuff is best after it's been cured for about a year. Personally, I think a year is too long for me to wait, so I'm going to try to see if I can get a throw from it. Uh, it, it smells like there's going to be something, you know, so I'm going to see um, because I really made my VCS purchase to melt the stuff like this year, this fall season. So I'm definitely going to see for sure, but I do have a two pack of tiles there. And then these two packs here are actually um, from Kim in her D stash. I think these are called like the coins or the medallions, but they come in a pack of four. So this one is in Haunted Latte. This is from last year. The notes are Pumpkin Spice Latte. I'm assuming that S means spice. Um, Kim actually wrote these, so <laughs> I don't exactly know, but I think it's Pumpkin Spice Latte, Whipped Cream, and Caramel. This next one is in Madame Tussauds, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Tussauds, Tussauds Wax Museum. I actually already melted one of these in my bedroom. It's really good. It's sweet potato, pumpkin bars, and toasted coconut. So, And then this one is in Autumn in Salem, which is pumpkin cinnamon sugar donut. And then this last four pack is in sugar cookie dough great pumpkin and great pumpkin is pumpkin layer cake cream cheese frosting obviously with sugar cookie dough so those are all of the coins from bcs i have this pack of chantilly shatter this is in elm street children and it says one two freddy's coming for you with this creamy fall blend with hints of pumpkin caramel pecans marshmallows and candy corn cupcakes with buttercream frosting so again um this was poured in july of this year so i'm hoping that it's been cured enough so that i can melt some right now but we'll see and then i have three sun shots from her so i think these come as samples if i'm not mistaken but this one is in autumn is coming i could not find a scent description for this one so i unfortunately don't know what the notes are this one is in the Munsters, which is pumpkin caramel eggnog. And then this one is in the Warrens, which is gooey marshmallow glazed cinnamon donuts and cider lane. So that's all BCS stuff. So next I have some things from L3 Waxy Wonders. I love L3. I actually have another order from her coming in. That's the other order I'm waiting on. And it's for more fall stuff. So definitely, like I said, as of right now, August 1st or August 1st. Oh my goodness. October 1st, I am definitely done with buying fall scents for this year because obviously I just have too much and I'm not going to melt through all of this stuff within the next two months. But I do hope to, you know, melt through a good bit of it. 
So anyways, from L3 Waxy Wonders, I have a scoopable in Cider Lane Leaves Marshmallow Fireside. This was a pack of two bunt cakes that I had cut up. And this is in Hannibal Honey Pear Cider, which is Cranberry Apple Cider Pecan Glazed Cookies. This was a four pack of her fluted tarts. I melted half of this one. And this is in Palo Santo Leaves. And then I have a few of her puppy packs. I have this one in North by Northwest, which is Cider Donuts Type and Cran Apple Cider. This one is in One Punch Man, which is Honey Buttered Rolls, Leaves, and Kettle Corn. And then this last puppy pack is in Handshot First Pretzel, which is Cider Lane Fresh Baked Bread and Leaves, and then Pretzel. And then last from L3, I have this Matrix Bar. This is in Graveyard Diagon Alley, which is Leaves, Toasted Mallow, Granny Smith Apples, Marshmallow Fireside, and Graham Crackers. So I have that Matrix Bar. And that's all from L3 Waxy Wonders for right now <laughs> um, until I get that order in. So I'm gonna actually move these to the side here. Okay, um, then I have just two things from Southbound Candle Co. I have this bakery bag in Ghostly Brew, which is spooky blend of cider donuts and vanilla bean Noel, all brewed into one ghostly treat. So I actually already started melting into this and it's very strong, it's very good. So I have that bakery bag. And then I got this in the D-Stash from Kim. This is in Pumpkin Cookies and Milk, if it will focus. And this is Fresh from the Oven Pumpkin Spice Cookies with Warm Sweetened Milk. So the clamshell itself is starting to get a little bit soft, so I'm gonna definitely um, start to melt into that. And then, let's see what else we have here. I have a few things from Empire Alchemy. Um, I do have a lot, not a lot, I have a few bags that I purchased uh, from a pre-order that she had at some point this summer. And I decided to pull these three out because these actually smelled like fall to me. This one is in The Fog, which is Marshmallow Fireside, Salty Sea Air, Red Delicious Apple, and Toasted Marshmallow. I'm going to have to see how I feel about this when I put it on a warmer because on cold sniff, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm starting to learn that I am not a fan of the salty sea air note, so I'm definitely going to have to see what this is like as it's melting, um, but we'll see. This one is in Semi-Charmed Life, which is Vanilliary type or vanilla vanillary type tonka bean marshmallow fireside and flannel sheets this scent itself isn't distinctly fall but it's fall enough to me so that i can include it in here and then this last bag from empire alchemy is in big bad wolf which is hazelnut coffee campfire marshmallow donuts spiced caramel strudel this smells amazing this is amazing Yes, this is so, so, so good. It's a really, really nice coffee bakery blend. It smells delicious. So these are my bags here from Empire Alchemy. I have a few shapes from Rainbow Melts. I'm actually expecting an order of two loaves at some point this week, but I don't think the loaves that I ordered are in any fall sense. Uh, but I do have some shapes. This is in Spider Cider, which is gooey caramel cider. This is in Got Candy, a sweet mix of trick-or-treat goodies. Monster Munch, which is caramel corn, toasted marshmallow, salty pretzel. And then this last one is Wicked Bliss, which is zucchini, pumpkin, pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and butter brickle. So those are all of my Rainbow Melts ones. Okay, so next I have a few random ones. These are just random brands. 
Um, I only have like one or two of each of these. So I have a scent shot from Candles by Victoria in Ciderweb. This I got as a free sample at some point this last summer and I almost forgot I had it until today when I was going through my stash. So um, I have that one and then I have this one from BZ Tarts. This is in Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. I actually don't like how this smells on cold. It smells disgusting to me. I was hoping that this was gonna be a pumpkin peanut brittle dupe from Bath and Body Works, but it doesn't. It smells gross. Um, so I'm just gonna try to bring myself to melt it just so I can, you know, get it out of my collection. <laughs> this is a sample from Hayden Rowe in Apple Barn. And then I have one uh, pack of mini melters here from Rose Girls. This is in Fireside Marshmallow Type and Pie Crust. And then I have a clamshell from Renovation Candle Company in Seattle Flannel. I love this scent. It's like my favorite scent from Renovation Candle Co. And then I have these two here. These, whoops, these two I got from Boscov's and it's in our own candle company brand i'm not exactly sure but i have hot apple pie and banana nut bread so i just got these two to try out and melt through and then my last vendor that i have for you is from ava's so i actually did get an order in today and a lot of it is her fall stuff um but her fall stuff is really good i really really like ava's uh, so I have a few samples from her that I do want to melt through. This first one is in Vanilla Pumpkin Milkshake, which I really wanted to actually purchase this, but at the time when I was purchasing it, it sold out. So I was really happy that I got it in a sample. This next one is in Frankenstein, and I actually have um, a pack in here in this scent. So she actually also included this as a sample. So you'll be seeing the pack of that in a little bit. This next sample is in Campfire Donut. And this one is in Pumpkin Honey Chai. And this last sample is in Maple Pumpkin Crunch. So this is actually a hefty sample, as you can see. Really hefty. So those are the samples. Um, so let's get into my one bakery bag. This is in Cinnamon Glazed Baklava. This is grated cinnamon, nutmeg, flaky crust, caramelized sugar, buttery vanilla, and honey. I absolutely love this blend from her. It is amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure every vendor offers some version of this scent, but I love Ava's. So I actually fell in love with this scent because she included it as a sample in my order and I melted it and I loved it. So then I ordered it in a two pack of tiles, melted those two and I loved it. So when I saw in her most recent restock, she offered this scent in a bakery bag. I was like, I have to have it in a bakery bag. It's amazing. If you guys love anything bakery, especially cinnamon or like spicy, this is not a spicy scent, but if you love the cinnamon spice category type of blends, you need to try this. It is super, super good. Okay, and then the rest are like shapes, different shapes. I have this two pack of pumpkins here in, mm -hmm, this is not gonna focus, is it? <laughs> All right, there we go. So this one, okay, come on now. So I have a two pack of pumpkins and frosted pumpkin butter cookies. And then I have a few of her leaves shapes. So this one is in Monster Mash, which is Cider Lane and Sugar Cookie Zucchini. This one is in Pumpkin Pecan Milkshake. This smells really good. It's very heavy on the pecan aspect and it's a very like creamy vanilla pecan scent. And then this next one is in Sweet Potato Pie Farmhouse Cider. This scent I'm definitely gonna be melting in the month of November. And then I have two of her breakaway bars. This one is in Trick or Treat, which I already started melting. I already um, actually melted two rows today. 
Uh, the notes are pumpkin, persimmon, apple, blueberries, elderberries, currants, orange, cinnamon, sugarcane, and vanilla. So there, there's a lot going on in this one. It's very complex, but it's very good. And then this next one is in green apple sugar cookies. This scent is not my favorite. What I'm gonna end up doing is adding more of like a, her sugar cookie blend to this. Uh, her ultimate sugar cookie blend is amazing. So I'm gonna add more of that to here because this is very tart. Um, obviously it's a green apple, so it's to be expected, but I would like more of that sugar cookie aspect to come out. And then last but not least, I have a few of her three packs of her Halloween shapes. These are hefty packs. There's a lot of wax in here. So this first one is in Fall Baking at Tiffany's. And like I said, they're pretty, they're pretty chunky. Um, the notes in here are Secret Bakery Pumpkin blended with Tiffany's Cupcakes. This next one is in Autumn Pound Cake, which is Blueberry Pumpkin Waffles and Vanilla Pound Cake. I love the shapes that she uses on these. <laughs> this next one is Vanilla Pumpkin Cake Pops. I love this one on cold. It smells amazing. I really cannot wait to melt into that. This is the Frankenstein three pack that I purchased. So I have this and the sample to melt through, but the notes are pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla bean Noel, and Tiffany's cupcakes. And then lastly, I have this three pack, which I already melted into. I cut this one in half. This is in fall festival which is apple crushed cinnamon clove with hints of orange peel and sweet vanilla. This scent is amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. It's a really, really nice apple, apple cinnamon nutmeg spice type of blend. It's so good. So I'm really excited to melt more into that. So that is it everyone that concludes all of my fall melting basket for this year so yeah as you can see i was not lying when i said i do have a lot and this is why i need to go on a fall uh wax band because i really don't need any more fall scents so that's gonna be it for me today guys thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video um once i get my other orders in i may or may not update you guys and do a haul video on them um we'll see we'll see if i have time to but thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video i love you guys and i will see you all in my next one peace